Hello everyone, welcome to Bowser Training Liquid Solution. If you want the best mock, mock interview experience in North America, feel free to check us out at bowsertraining.org. Moreover, if you could read Chinese and you want to receive the latest interview related tech news, feel free to subscribe to our WeChat blog right here. Also, we're constantly posting some job um, information, so uh, like HR directly posting. Anyway, so we're here to help you, so if you have any um, questions, feel free to shoot us an email. All right, so today we're going to talk about an easy problem called the maximal depth of a binary tree. So given a binary tree, find the maximal depth. So the maximal depth is the number of nodes along the longest path from the root node down to the farthest leaf. For example, if you have like one, two, three, um, if you have a tree like this, one, two, three, the depth is pretty much two. So a simple recursion can actually solve this problem. Uh, essentially, it's more like um, And minus one, that should do it. Okay, so I guess in that case, it's uh, not really interesting at all. Um, I mean, so if you want to challenge yourself, you can actually write a, a iterative method, which is a, which is a post order transversal. So in your post order transversal, your stack size is actually. Um, so remember, when you write your post order transversal, you keep a stack, right? And then your stack size every time when you whenever you're doing your while loop and uh, you, you need to basically get the maximal uh, of your stack size and uh, keep tracking that so that's because post order transversal is like always uh, you traverse left right and then it itself right so your stack is always going to be keep pushing the stack to the stack unless it has no children at all and then you will start popping the stack so basically your stack size max is uh, um, is stacked out size, and always you get the max is gonna be your 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 uh, largest, your maximal depth. Okay. Um, other than that, I don't think there's nothing more we can talk about. Um, if you don't know how to write the iterative version of post order, you can just wiki it. So essentially, you have a current node, and also you have to keep a last visited node because, um, because. Because uh, when you're at a node, right, you need to say, hey, if there's a left, I just keep pushing to the left. Or if there's no left, I want to go back. I want to traverse to the right. And uh, um, there's also, you want to keep a last visit one because you don't want to end up in a dead loop. So whenever you are on the current node, right, you have a right. So should I go or not? Because when you recursive, when you recursive back, you don't want to go there. So that's why you keep last visit node. It's more like the current dot right is not equal to last visit and then you go or else you should not go you should just popping up the current node okay that's all uh, thanks all for watching